one. Hi friends. Today we will see one of the most important command in an autosys that is auto rep command. Auto rep command in autosys is used to report job, machine, and variable information. Auto rep it is a client utility that generates reports about objects such as jobs, machines and global variable which are currently defined in the Autosys database. Autorep command is basically used to retrieve the data from the database for the purpose of reporting. So it is useful for mentioned points. Autorep command is used to display a summary of all currently defined jobs. Second one, Autorep command is used to display the current machine load information. It will list out all relevant event information for the last run of any job or for a specified job run. It is also used for backupping of job definitions by extracting definitions and saving them to the output file. These all points we will discuss with an example. This is the usage of auto rep command. It comes with many options like hyphen J, hyphen I, hyphen G, hyphen L hyphen D etc. So we will discuss few of the options in with an example. Okay. First example auto rep hyphen M all. All should be in capital. Hyphen M can be in capital or small letter. So this is used to view the machine status like in the last column there is there is one column like status there we can see online machine name test underscore auto 1 2 3 those are online so to view the machine status auto rep hyphen name all all is all the machines which are or reside, resides and residing on the autosys server so that information it will display the status we can get like maximum load current load factor on for this server what is the operating system it is being configured like it might be unix windows status it might be online offline so those information we will get second example to view global variables status of the global variables so for that come uh, option it is using using is hyphen g here i am displaying global variable name which contains pattern aut so we got an output now for example the first global variable aut underscore api i inbox the value is they have given some path for that global variable and the third column it will show the date when it was been modified the value might be path or uh, it might be like on off so anything it might be there and there might be some purpose for the global variable based on the environment autosys environment so auto rep command followed by option hyphen g will give the information of global variables okay auto rep followed by hyphen g if you give all in caps so it will give the value of all the global variable and if you want to take backup of these values you can redirect to a file so here the file name i have used is dump underscore global underscore all file name can be anything it is a user defined next example is for taking the backup of 
job definition of all the jobs which are defined in an autosys for that the command is auto rep followed by option hyphen j and all is all the jobs all is a keyword followed by option hyphen q so that will give all the job definitions of the jobs and it is directed to the file that is dump job definition underscore all auto rep command it is also used for level reporting there are like l0 l1 etc it goes on so in that case auto rep command is useful at command is auto rep hyphen w hyphen j all is all the jobs followed by l0 it will give the first level of the reporting in an example i have shown you there is a box name box underscore aut this box might be having several jobs or it might be having box within it as well so it will not display those information it will just display the top level reporting that means whatever the first job is there global box consider box underscore aut is a global box which is having many boxes inside and each boxes is having some individual jobs as well so those information it will not display it will display the first layer of information if you give level as hyphen l0 hope you got it we'll move to the next example second level reporting sec for second level reporting we have to use option hyphen l1 for first level reporting it should be hyphen l0 auto rep hyphen j all or it might be any particular job name followed by hyphen l1 for second level reporting for first level reporting it should be hyphen l0 so as i said in the previous example for the box aut it might be having several boxes inside like box underscore aut underscore box one one more box box underscore aut underscore box two so those information we will not get by using the option hyphen l0 but for second level information if i give command like auto rep hyphen j that global box i will give box underscore aut hyphen l1 then it will display the output like box underscore aut then it will give two more boxes which are inside that global box like box underscore aut underscore box one then box underscore aut underscore box two so those information it will display auto rep hyphen w hyphen j followed by box name and if we give the option hyphen d it will give the detailed information of the job executions like at what particular time a start a job got started at what particular time the job is run went to the running status at what particular time job got success or a job got failed job got terminated so those job execution details we will get by using the option hyphen d next command auto rep followed by hyphen m and hyphen d and all all is nothing but a keyword hyphen m and hyphen d those are the usage of auto rep so if you give this command this will give like suppose auto rep hyphen m is for used for machine so here it is checking across all machine because the keyword which we are given is all so it is checking over all the machine and what are the current jobs running it will display the which are jobs running currently next command auto rep hyphen j it might be box or an individual job that is used to get the 
जॉब स्टेटस नेक्स्ट वन जॉब डेफिनेशन